Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys um, how to create your business file in free accounting software. So this continues on from the previous video where I installed the software and that's all I've done so far is just install, well actually I've installed the software and I also created the FAS identity. So um, I'm just going to put in my password and unlock the FAS identity and then on this page the software will show me a list of the businesses that I have. Um, in this case I've just started so there is none and it says no content in table. So to create the business click on F and then new and on this page you get a choice about um, whether you want to create a file or store your data in a file on your computer or whether you want to store the data on our servers. So uh, we can host your data um, and refer to that as cloud or hosted um, businesses um, and if if you choose that option there are um, there, there are fees for that. Um, it starts out pretty low um, and, and yeah. Um, now if you go for a local file it's currently free for up to four employees. Um, that can change um, but the we've got a really long history since we started in 2004 of providing this software for free um, but um, yeah so um, there are um, advantages and disadvantages to either option um, the the desk or the desktop or the locally stored files are slightly simpler and less features and the hosted ones have more features um, other advantages are that the data is um, hosted with us and um, so it's less likely that you would accidentally delete your file in fact you couldn't do that whereas over here um, you know if your computer dies um, and you haven't done backups you know you might um, lose that data so anyway for the purpose of this I'm just going to choose the local file. Okay, this is just a demo and I'll just put in a um, ABN. So your business can have a legal name as well as um, a trading name. I'm just going to leave the description blank, um, but I will put a financial year start and end date because I think it does require that. Um, and I'm going to choose that I am registered for GST. So the software will create a default chart of accounts as well as include the GST codes in that. Okay, having um, uh, created that business, it takes us straight into that um, business uh, file. And we've got the options here where we can enter transactions, set up um, things, and run reports. Um, I will just show you a couple things. Um, as I said that it will create a default chart of accounts. So if we click on accounts, there are already a lot of accounts set up. Go back to the menu and click on tax codes. There are already a lot of tax codes set up, and including tax codes for GST as well as um, payroll tax codes. Um, 
at the top here there's a link to uh, it says my business details it's also the same link down here under the setup heading if you click that then you can go in here and um, set up some more details um, for your business um, I recommend you put your contact details um, and also fill in the address Um, bank account details isn't really used for much at all um, so I'm going to leave that blank okay um, now um, at the top here is this um, I call this a navigation um, uh, it's like breadcrumbs on a website um, but if I click on the business name it takes me back to that menu um, anyway there's a separate video on navigation I do want to show you something though which is if you click on your um, your name um, the top left you go back to your business list now some people's business will have the same name as their name so um, keep in mind the first one is your name as a user of the software and the second one is the business name so if I go back to the um, li business list page um, we can now see that um, business that we've just created um, normally when you start the software you'll go into this page when you double click on it it actually takes you to this messages page so you can save messages into the file um, from this page to get back to that business menu just click on your business name here um, I'll do another video on the messages, in fact there's already one um, but the reason for this messages page is because there can actually be multiple versions of your file because it's a locally stored file so the reason it takes you into here is actually because you might want to not open the latest version you might want to open another version and it does provide, if there are other versions it does provide links down here to open those other versions anyway um, you normally just click your business name up here to take you back to that menu um, and from there pick whatever functions you want to use okay um, I hope the video has been useful um, and thanks for watching